I'm able to be a lot more compassionate with myself and to say yes everything was confusing and this is why so you know just be a bit kinder and, and work with yourself a little bit more the classic you have to love yourself first um, empathy towards myself and having more more patience with myself um, and appreciating myself more I, I don't think I allowed myself pleasure because I didn't deserve it. I think I actually deserve stuff now. I'm far more gentle with myself, kinder to myself, and I found another level of self-worth which I didn't know existed. Uh, help me to give myself a break. <laughs> so I beat myself up a lot. I give myself a hard time and I need to give myself less of a hard time. And that extends to all of my relationships as well now, that everything is better because I'm able to be more compassionate with everyone around me too. To say that, okay, you're just triggering a little bit, you know, it's okay, calm down. <laughs> I've had a mirror held up to me. To the journey I've traveled and the fear that I've been through. And I've looked that fear in the face and I've almost discovered just how far I've come. You know, from, from being hypercritical of self in a very unconscious way to, to, to not being critical of myself anymore. So, so this opened that uh, more of a conscious critical eye on myself to say like, um, you know, look at this part of your life and look at this part of your behavior and it's just allowed me to observe myself better. It just gave me a different perspective and uh, it raised my awareness level and that's what life is all about. At the moment that sense of being grounded and being sort of at peace with how things are. The access to a deeper and wider inner space, there is more space to move in, to articulate in, to emote in, to live in inside. It has given me great hope for the work that still needs to be done because the language has been presented to me again. But it's almost been a journey through a tunnel in that um, through the last two weeks I would say I'm coming out of it and suddenly opportunities are opening for me and I think that perhaps has to do with a shift in my own energy. I can't say it's changed, <clears throat> you know, from, from one side of the coin to, you know, to the flip side completely, but I hope it's changed um, the aspect of, of taking myself seriously, um, which means allowing myself to... allowing myself to value myself. I was stagnant. I was like for years actually and it just felt like something was unlocked. It was like one little piece that needed to be pulled out and then the wheels could go in motion again. Spending a lot of my time and energy focused on other people, on giving, on contributing, on living other people's lives, on sacrificing my time and energy to other people when in fact I hadn't taken care of myself. So the, you know, the realization that it's okay to look after myself, to get myself in order. Um, all my life, I've, I think I've been a victim of circumstance. So, uh, you know, I've tried to rebel and stand up for my rights or my, my hopes, but uh, it seemed like I, I was expected to do this and I did it, and then I expected to do the next thing. And you now I found myself in a situation that, that felt stifling to me. And, um, you know, now I feel like my, my future has to represent me and has to be about what I want and what's important to me. I think I'm more um, assertive in a, in a gentle way and, um, and I have a presence. I didn't have the presence. I didn't want to have the presence because it felt like I had to compete. But I'm not competing against anyone else. I'm, I've just stepped into what is my place. The, the future has become much more friendly. I feel much more optimistic about the future, about my future and where I'm going. 
So I've got ideas that come up for me and I'm able to action them far quicker than in the past. So it, it makes my, my future more playful and magic, but also more difficult in a certain sense because I'll have to confront things as I go on. That things that I've beforehand uh, saw as impossible or re remote possibilities became clearer and actual to actualize. Certain things are starting to actualize. What I dream of can happen. I have had the biggest clear out of my life. My goodness gracious, everything. It's created like an amazing forward movement and you know, things are happening. So oh. it's flipping cool. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. It's like the last month has been insane. <laughs> oh, that's